Today's video is going to be relatively short because yesterday my GoPros both cacked it in and that's what I've been using for my main camera. So today I dug out of the weeds my old Nikon D7200 and we're filming this in HD on the Nikon D7200. If you have any suggestions about uh, how to make my uh, photography or videography in these better, please leave a comment. I'd be very interested to hear. And the same goes for uh, the formatting of the videos and you know anything that you see that you, you could help me improve and get better results. That would be awesome. Okay, so uh, today I've uh, made two wooden N needles. These are needles for a form of, let's call it knitting, called needle binding. It originates uh, somewhere in the Scandinavian countries, Norway, Denmark, Sweden, something like that. It's actually called the Oslo stitch these days, although back in the day they called it Nölbinding, which is Norse for needle binding. It's a technique that requires only one needle to knit, and you knit off of your thumb. And the big benefit of this method is that it uh, makes knots instead of loops. Normal knitting and normal crochet make loops. Nail binding, nail needle binding, makes a series of knots, so it won't unravel if you get a hole in your garment. So the needles uh, traditionally are made out of wood. So I've made two different shapes here, one with a long round taper and a curved body and it tapers all the way up to the butt end. The other one I've made in a much flatter, broader shape. It also curves but it doesn't taper all the way. It tapers about to here and then is uh, relatively even the rest of the way. I've seen quite a few different needle designs and these are two so I want to try them out. So I've spent some time making them. Yesterday I cut the blank out of some maple that I have. This is a big leaf maple so I just rip cut that and then cut across there giving me a basic quarter inch thick blank from which I cut a whole bunch of strips and uh, strips, made those strips into needle blanks by popping some holes in them and then spent some time with the chisel thinning them out and then finished it with some time on a spindle sander. I've got some footage of the spindle sanding, but the rest of the footage is gone. So anyway, if you like the content, uh, smash that like button. And in the meantime, hopefully this spindle sanding is entertaining.
Okay, let's put on two slightly different straight needles. One a little fatter, one a little rounder. I want to see how they work. I think that's uh, pretty much ready to test out. Okay, so this is needle binding. Give you a little demonstration of how it's done with the needle that I just made. This is the cast-on part where you uh, create a little twisty knot mess in order to get started. The real trick with needle binding is to have that new loop fall over your thumb. Um, here we're just picking up two of the loops from that figure of eight that we made. So this is still just preparing to create the knots. Let's pull that through, snug it up to my thumb, get the back all snug. This is how you set the tension of your knitting by the tension on that top loop there. And you grab that top loop and loop, twist it behind, and then you pull the thread through the existing loop and that loop plus behind the laying string. Then you snug that up, and then you just keep on going from there. Okay, so now we're just going to show you what's left. Uh, when you pull it off the back, it's it's pretty loose, and you have to kind of tighten it up and give it a little stretchy twisty to get it settled just right. But then you wind up with something like this. And here I've got uh, a bit that I was practicing on yesterday. And you can see, if the camera would just focus, that... Once you knit the one row and then you start adding on the second row, the two rows together, they make a pretty good, uh, pretty good little piece of knitting there. Anyway, hope you enjoy.